Hey everyone, welcome back to Hollow Point Defense. We're gonna talk about the folding latch and how to put it back on here. Uh, getting a lot of questions about it. People are getting frustrated with how this goes back on. So let's kind of show you how I do it. We'll go over the parts and pieces real quick. On the top of your receiver, you're gonna see that little cutout right there. On the spring, there's two prongs, one going up, one going down. One of those prongs is gonna go inside there. And let's talk about that spring real quick. Here it is. Get it to where you can see it. It's a little half inch spring wrapped twice and it's got two prongs, one going to the right, one going to the left or up and down, depending on how you're holding it. Doesn't matter which way you put this in, no matter how you turn it, the prongs are gonna be in the same place. So orientation other than it needing to look like this flat with the prongs to the back, that's all you need to really worry about. And then you need your bolt to put that together because I'll show you why and inside this latch it's kind of hard to see there is a cutout on the back side over here let me get my light and there you go you can see it right right there a little bit it's kind of hard it's in the back section there but there's a cutout there the other prong on this has to go in there and then on the bottom of your receiver, there's a cutout right there because on the bottom of this latch, there's a nub. That nub's gonna go inside that divot or hole. So here's how I put mine together. Get this, orient it to where the nub is on the bottom. This will go right inside that cutout. And when it does, it'll lay flat like that. If it doesn't lay flat, then you don't have it in that nub because it'll sit at an angle. I take my top receiver and I line up that cut out on there with this other nub right there and I'll just put it on there just like that uh, where my bolt go there it is and uh, while I got this I'm gonna use that to hold it I just put that in there and you can see I've got it nice and where it needs to be I'm gonna put this right in here put that on top and I'm gonna slowly rotate out towards you the camera Rotate it out, and then it seats right there. And I've got my pressure on it. I'll do it from this side, and you're good. I'll put the other little screw down here. I'll do that, and I'll have my pressure just like that. Fairly simple. Let's redo this real quick. Take this off. We'll take everything apart. I'll put my spring inside here, nub on the bottom. Put that little prong, it's hard for you guys to see the way I have to do it, because I gotta see. Put that in there. Put my bolt, use that to lay on it. Put my bolt there, there we go. It's all set. Put that in there, I don't care where it's at, till I do that, seat it. We're done. And I've got all the pressure I need on it. And then I will put this lower bolt back in there and it'll hold this down. But while we're talking about that, be careful with these back screws. Let me move this forward. Because if you lose these, they're kind of hard to find. I went to Monster Bolt. There they are. That are the long screws to put in here. And the little bolts or the nuts for it are right there. I went and bought 50 of them and had a good old time. And I got fire trucks outside my door. Wonder what they're doing. But anyways... That is it right there for the FPC latch. You'll just bolt it back together and you'll have a good old time. You guys take care. If you have any questions, let me know. Bye.